That's right. An El Nino watch, our friends at the Climate Prediction Center, issued that today, which means it is expected to show up within the next six months. El Nino, part of the cycle of temperature changes across the tropical Pacific Ocean, that impacts weather patterns around the world. When the East Pacific is cool, it's La Nina, like the past three years, and skiers get happy and excited. And when it's warm, it's El Nino, and they get less so. There's a 60% chance for El Nino to start up between May and July. It gets up into that 80, 85% range by the start of fall and into winter. El Nino in the Northwest usually leads us to pretty warm and slightly dry weather over the course of a year. Now, since El Nino records, began in 1949. Here's the stats. Four out of the top five and 11 of the top 25 hottest years since then well, were El Nino years. Three of the top five and 13 of the top 25 driest years in Spokane were El Nino years too. You can probably catch my drift, but that is not all. 15 of the top 25 least snowy winters, least snowy winters happened during La Nina as well. Not great when you look at the prospects for next ski season here as we end what's been a pretty good year. But it all depends really on how strong this El Nino becomes. The stronger it is, the more often we're going to see hot, drier, less snowy weather in the months ahead of us. Now, as it stands today, I would say that the odds for strong El Nino, they're a little bit too high for my liking, but we'll see what develops here in the months ahead. The last strong El Nino, that was back in 2015. That did not go very well for us at all or really anyone. It was the hottest year on record for the planet and a strong El Nino developing this year might be all but certain to set a new one.